is a collaboration with Stamperia that is is a uh, Italian company. They send me the mixed media product and this beautiful Chavi Rose collection. I'm choosing this page and I'm going to cut out some of the butterflies. And I also choose this other one. And well, let me tell you that this collection is so so beautiful. I love all the papers. This will be my base paper. Now I'm going to prime my paper and I'm using the Media Gloss Gel Paste by Stamperia. This will make my paper sturdy and strong. And I apply uh, the Media Gloss Gel Paste with a paint brush to all the paper. I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to apply the same Media Gloss Gel Paste to all the butterflies on this paper. Because this will make the butterfly, uh, it will give a beautiful shine and it makes the butterfly uh, sturdy. Now I'm cut out all the images, all the butterflies and also I will cut some of the other images in the other paper. These are the wooden shapes and I'm going to use the love word as my title. I'm going to apply a modeling paste. It will give a nice uh, texture to the wooden. I just apply the modeling paste uh, with a paint brush and I'm giving a second layer two layers of the modeling paste now you can see here uh, the texture that the modeling paste create this is the envelope that I already cut and I'm going to uh, adhere all the pieces to form the envelope And now I'm going to add uh, glue only in the center of the envelope and I'm going to adhere to the page. This is my photo. I, I made a white mat. Now I'm, I'm giving this dressing to all the, the images that I cut. That is an envelope, a, a card. And a postcard I distress with my scissor now I am um, give a uh, color I apply color to the love word this is a uh, mixed media aqua color by Stamperia now I'm going to let it dry and with the same uh, mixed media color I apply uh, to my mat and I'm going to uh, give this technique that I apply, I just uh, rub, rub the paint with uh, acetate or a plastic to my paper it gives uh, like a watercolor effect very similar to the base paper that is the, why is the reason that I apply this technique uh, in this page I continue giving uh, more color in the area that I think that I need it. Once it is dry, I will apply a second uh, layer of color, but this time it's in pink color. And I will do the same technique. In different area, I will apply with a plastic bag. You can also mix uh, Add the second layer when the first one still wet and it gives you uh, a third color because the two paints will mix but I, I, I didn't I don't want to uh, 
many colors so I, I wait uh, until the first layer is uh, completely dry to apply my second now I am giving uh, I think that the page need uh, more color so uh, I am trying to enhance uh, everything the layers the envelope so I apply uh, the paint direct with a paintbrush around uh, the all all my all the envelope and all the layers uh, I just apply in the area that I think that I need it uh, it's up to you you can uh, do it or add less color is the pen I, I think that I need it and uh, in this case I add in uh, the dark color in some areas because I, I know when I'm going to add the butterflies so I need some area that uh, pop out um, that's why I, I it looks uh, weird now but you will see that now that I'm going to add the uh, modeling paste and I'm going to add the textures but it, it will change everything and I'm using this beautiful stencil by Stamperia and with the modeling paste to create the textures and to give uh, the design you will see once I remove the stencil how nice everything looks you see this is a pretty design uh, I love this stencil now I will continue uh, apply the textures around all the uh, all the area uh, let me tell you that this uh, modeling paste is light it's not heavy uh, it's very soft when you apply now I will continue adding more uh, texture I, I, I think that will go uh, around all the center piece okay it is done I'm going to let it dry okay now I'm go I'm adding some pink paint splatters I'm using the same paint that I use for uh, paint my page uh, on the background uh, now I'm adding the dark color I'm trying that the paint splatter uh, are small not too big so I'm using a fine tip uh, paintbrush these are the 3d fonts by Stamperia and I'm going to use them behind every uh, of my layers because I want to create dimensions so I apply use uh, the 3d fonts in all in the photo and in all my layers now I'm going to adhere this piece of lace um, around my photo and I'm using my hot glue gun I think the lace will give a feminine and delicate touch to my page that goes perfect with all the colors that this page has once it's uh, I have pla uh, I place the lace now I'm going to uh, adhere the photo to my page it is one of the stamps that they sent me and I love it I think this stamp is so pretty and I'm using uh, I am stamping with a permanent ink now uh, uh, I, I'm stamping randomly around all now I'm going to add uh, the flowers the lace all the embellishment to my page I will start uh, adhering a piece of lace then the flowers and the butterflies that I already cut out from the papers and I will continue doing this uh, with all placing uh, all the embellishment and all the flowers uh, on my page I will use a 3d foam tape to uh, adhere the butterfly I think that uh, the butterfly needs uh, some dimensions and the 3d foam are perfect for this 
I'm adding another piece of lace to this corner and adhering the lace with the hot glue gun. I'm going to add now the title and for the wooden um, I prefer to use the tacky glue and I'm here uh, near to the butterfly I try to balance uh, everything uh, to create a balance in my page and I think that the title looks great in that corner now I will use the media gloss gel paste again but this time I'm going to use it as adhesive to adhere the arstone, the glass beads, and some sequins. I just pick up uh, the arstone, the beads, and the sequins with my paintbrush. Once the paintbrush has the gel paste, it's easy to uh, pick up the arstones and put it uh, and hit it uh, on the page. And I will continue doing this until I like how everything looks. I add now the sequins. I use the paintbrush to add a tiny amount of the paste. Then I will add also two bows in each, uh, beside each of the flowers. And I will add some pearls and this is it. <music> 